Hey guys, welcome to Vapoff Reviews for a new gear review. Today we have the latest piece of kit released by Jack Vapor. Um, this is the Series S, also the Series S17 according to the box, though I think it's more commonly known by the name Series S. Um, and basically this is an Ego style battery aimed particularly at new vapors um, or those who perhaps have, have been using kind of store bought Ego style batteries, cylindrical ones like this, uh, generally can be a little bit crap. Um, so if you're looking to get into vaping, or if you have been vaping but you just want a better, more reliable device, um, then this is aimed at you. Obviously, if you are a bit like me and you're using your kind of 1 to 200 watt box mods with temperature control and all that business, this isn't necessarily going to be designed for you, um, You know, unless you use an Ego battery as a backup, but it is more designed at newer vapors. So this particular... Um, black finish series S is currently out of stock I think it's been quite popular um, and I think the 4th of November is the next date when the next batch comes in so if you do want to order this um, in black then you may have to just wait a little bit until the 4th of November but basically let's have a look um, at the packaging so this is the box that it arrives in very nice clean design as you'd expect from Jack Vapor I can't do a proper unboxing because I've already unboxed it. Um, but basically, you know, at the top you get a little foam insert with the battery and the tank. Um, and you also get, I think if you've ordered some coils with your kit, you get those included in a little box. Um, and your manual. And you also get the charging cable, um, USB charging cable, and also two coils that come with the kit, even if you don't order any extra extra coils as part of the kit, you get two coils included to try out. Um, so that's basically that's what's in the box. So a little bit about the Series S. It is a 900 mAh battery, 900 milliamp per hour, um, which is kind of standard, if maybe a little bit better than some of the uh, Ego batteries that you get from the shops. It's not quite as powerful as the Series E. Um, and well not really anywhere near as powerful as the series B but they are different products for different markets really um, so if you're looking for kind of a starting device 900 mAh should do you pretty well um, one of the great features about the series S is that it goes down it can fire down to 0.5 ohms which means normally you know when you've been vaping for a while and you want to try out all this sub ohm cloud chasing um, you have to go and buy a new device because most of these types of batteries can't fire down that low. They're not designed to. So basically, this this device will allow you to experiment a little bit with uh, sub ohm vaping once you decide to head in that direction. If you do, um, it's not going to kind of compete with some of the pure sub ohm thing devices out there. Um, but it is good if you want to experiment, want to give it a try without having to go and buy a whole new dev device, a whole new tank. And everything else besides. Um, you can see that it has a tank included. This is the S tank, uh, which is designed to go obviously with the Series S, but you can use any 510 connector tank um, with this device. It does look particularly nice though, and particularly sleek when you pair it with the S tank. Um, one thing that's particularly, again, quite interesting about the Series S, most Ego style batteries have very high resistance coils. Um, so like when you when you tend to buy ones from the shops you often get those um, Stardust or I think they're called Stardust the little plastic tanks that go on the top with all the wicks I can't stand those things but they're good for starters I suppose um, but they tend to be I think somewhere around 1.8 to 2.1 ohms something like that um, whereas these these coils the coils that you get for the Series S um, you have three options basically you have the direct lung option, so that's if you want to take a lung inhale, like you would with a dripper or a sub ohm tank, and you have the mouth to lung for, um, you know, if you're starting out with vaping, it's a much more cigarette like experience because the draw is a lot tighter. You have to obviously take the vapor into your mouth and then inhale like you would with a cigarette, whereas with direct lung, you just go like you're sucking through a straw. Um, basically, the mouth to lung, uh, there are there are two. 1 ohm coils available. You can get the mouth to lung or the direct lung in 1 ohm uh, and you can also get a direct lung coil in 0.5 ohms which is for if you want to try out sub ohm vaping. Um, now that 
that those first two coils, the mouse to long and the direct long coils, at one ohm. Obviously, because of most of these um, starter devices tend to be 1.8 to 2.1 ohms, it's a lot higher. You know, without even necessarily having to understand what what all that means. Basically, one ohm is quite a low resistance um, for a regular coil, and I think for a lot of people that will provide a much better flavor and vapor production than they might be used to with some of these starter batteries so you know it's a it's definitely a plus point for the series b um, that they have that option available and because the tank can fire down or rather because the battery can fire down to 0 0.5 ohms um, obviously it's a lot easier to hit lower resistances whereas with some of the the batteries you pick up in the shops they couldn't go down to 0 0.5 at all um, and they tell yeah they just tend to be high resistance which simply put should provide you with a better um, vape in a low resistance so um, sorry a bit of waffle going on there I'm just trying to get through as much information as we can um, basically the kit that you can pick up for this uh, you get the battery you get the tank you get two spare coils and the USB charger so that's the kit that I just showed you then that is 1999 Okay, and if you decide you want to get a spare pack of five coils, you can pick from any of those three options we said before, then it's $29.98. So very reasonably priced for the quality of this product when you consider how expensive some of the, the basic Ego batteries are in, in vaping shops or supermarkets. Um, it's really well priced. If you do want to pick up spare batteries, so outside of the kit, um, maybe just because 900 ma. You know, it's decent, but it's not going to last you that long. If you want spare batteries, uh, you can pick them up for eleven ninety nine each, or if you get two or more, you can get them for nine ninety nine each. Um, just to point out, there is obviously I usually have a discount code for some of the Jack Vapor products, and actually at the moment, instead of getting five percent off, you can get ten percent off uh, if you buy one of the kits. So look out for the voucher code, which should be coming up now. Um, and use that special code at the Jack Vapor checkout in order to get uh, some, well, to get some 10% off your order. Um, so a couple of other things about this before we give it a vape. Uh, it is TPD compliant, so the Tobacco Products Directive um, that came in recently, it is compliant with that. It's uh, The tank is a 1.8 milliliter capacity tank, so still a pretty decent capacity. It's, you know, you are going to have to refill it a bit, um, but it is TPD compliant. It has a USB charger. The battery is actually inbuilt. It's not a removable battery like the Series B. It's much more like the Series E in that you have to charge it, the device itself. You can't take the battery out. You can see, hopefully, the little USB port there, which being on the side means you can actually charge this standing up. Um, a lot of devices put the USB port at the bottom, which is just annoying. Um, so kudos to Jack Vapor for, for making that choice. Um, it's made from stainless steel and glass. The you know the battery is stainless steel, and the tank is stainless steel and glass for the um, actual tank itself. So all good quality materials. It's got a lovely feel to it. Um, moving away from the specs now to how it works, it has got a lovely feel to it. I, I don't know about the silver one, um, but the black one has got like almost a, a velvet kind of finish to it. So it does feel very nice. Um, it's quite light. First thing that that struck me when I first got this is just how light it is compared to like the Series E which is quite a bulky, a reasonably bulky battery and obviously you've got your Series B which has got like a, a decent sized 18650 battery in it. This is actually very light and also you can see it's quite small. Yeah, it's not not particularly big compared to some devices, um, you know, some of your vaping batteries. So it's actually very portable um, and even with the tank on the top it's quite small. So, yeah, basically, yeah, just to, I'll, I'll give it a vape in a minute to show you how it works. So you can see you've got here your airflow controller, um, which you can quite easily slide really as wide or as narrow as you want. Um, I tend to find most of the time, particularly if you're using the direct long coils, uh, it's pretty much fine to have it all the way open. Um, but yeah, basically five clicks to turn it on. Okay, it will flash red to start with if it's been charging. I've had this charging. Um, basically, when you press it down, you'll get an LED pop up on both sides. Now, this, unlike the 
Series E, which has the three different settings you can move through. Series B, which obviously has um, variable voltage and wattage. This is very much, you can tell it's a starter battery because obviously it doesn't have any customizable power. You can't change the power setting. Basically, once you switch it on, there's just the one setting. Um, now, when the battery is fully charged or has a good amount of charge on it, the LED will be green, like it is now. Once it drops down and uh, it's kind of in the middle midpoint of its battery, uh, it will go blue. And then, when the battery is running low, it will go red. And once the battery gets kind of critically low, it will flash red ten times. And at that point, you won't be able to use it. You'll have to charge it. So, essentially, the colours, unlike the Series E, where the colours represent the power you're putting through it, um, this time... With a Series S, the LED shows you essentially how much battery there is left. So you can't change the power to this, um, which makes it particularly good that there's a tank um, that comes with it, because obviously the tank and the coils are designed to work with the battery, so you know the resistances are all, um, well, basically designed to work well with the, the unregulated nature of the battery. Um, so if you are looking for a device where you can change the power, like the Series uh, B where you can change the wattage, then this device does not have that. It's just a single power, depending on how much battery there is left, uh, which is good for new vapors because obviously you don't want to be fiddling around with all the voltage and wattage that you might not understand or you know you might not want to get into all that yet. Um, so it's very simple to use, five clicks to turn it on and away you go. Right, so... Hopefully I've not been rushing too much through this. this. I've been trying to get as much information in as I can um, without it taking too long because some of my videos are mammoth. Um, but let's give it a go and see how it vapes. In here at the moment, I've tried all three of the types of coils, but in here I've got the um, direct lung coil. And I think I've got the one, yeah, I've got the one ohm coil. Okay, the first coil I tried was the 0.5 direct lung. Um, and then I tried the mouth to long coil, which is 1 ohm. Now I've got the direct long 1 ohm coil in. So this is the last coil for me to try. And I'm using some DIY liquid in here. So let's see how it goes. Well... Okay, so you can see there's plenty of plenty of vapor that comes off this um, for a one ohm coil. Obviously, the 0.5 ohm will give you a bit more vapor, um, but for a one ohm coil, very decent, and it does make a big difference. I think dropping down from like 2.1 or 1.8 ohms to one ohm because you do definitely get a much more powerful uh, flavor, much a fair bit more vapor. And you also get a little bit more throat hit depending on the liquid you're using. So, very good choice, I think, um, to go for one ohm. For me, the coils are quite interesting in in that the direct long coils have got a slightly tight draw to them. So, you know, compared to all the adjustable airflow tanks and that out there, which have got multiple airflows or drippers, um, it does seem a little tight for a direct long inhale. But at the same time, you know, you can easily do a direct lung inhale, and it, with these particular coils, it, it's quite hard to do a mouse to lung. Even I think if we switch off, switch off most of the airflow, it's possible, but it's not really ideal. Um, so the direct lung coils are, do their job pretty well. One thing I noticed with the mouse to lung coils is even with the airflow mostly switched off, I found that the the airflow was still quite loose, the draw was still quite loose, so actually it was um, a little bit challenging at times to get a proper mouse to long inhale. I think it's because of the drip tip. Now, as you can see, just to be cautious, I'm going to close off my airflow before I do this. As you can see, the drip tip is quite wide. Okay. Um, but normally, with mouse to long, like normal devices that are designed for mouse to long, they tend to have very narrow drip tips so that the actual draw through the, the drip tip is, is much more restricted. And I think the issue to some extent here is that the mouse to long coils is definitely a much more a much more restricted draw compared to the direct long coils. But because the drip tip is quite wide, you still get quite a lot of air come through even when you close off most of the airflow controller. Um, so for, for mouth to lung, if you want a really tight draw, 
like very much like a, a cigarette, then I think it's a little bit loose for that, uh, in my opinion. But, you know, other than that, as a device, it does work really well. It's a very stylish looking device. Um, the tank and the, the battery go together beautifully. Um, and you do get a decent vape out of it. And certainly plenty of vapour. Um, now I'm using, I think, a 70% VG liquid in here. Um, in a 1 ohm coil, that probably isn't something you really want to do too much. I Personally, I would save that for the 0.5 um, coils. I think, really, you, you don't want too thick a liquid when you're using a, a higher resistance, at least from my experience anyway. Um, but, yeah, it basically, it performs really well for a starter battery. Obviously, for, for someone like me who's into more of the advanced vaping now, this isn't a device that I would go out and, and necessarily buy purely because of I'm at the point now where where this type of battery doesn't really suit my needs. Um, but you know if you're just starting out or if you want to get a decent high quality battery to replace a really crappy ego battery that you've got, um, or if you want to have a nice main device that you can use a different battery as a backup or, or whatever situation for a new or reasonably new vapor who doesn't want to fiddle about with power settings and building their own coils, um, and all the things like that, then it's a, it is a, a brilliant device. And certainly, uh, if I was kind of getting into vaping now, um, it would be one certainly to go for because I think even the one ohm coils just they outperform a lot of the the really dodgy tanks and coils that you get with a lot of starter batteries. Um, so particularly, yeah, if you're new to vaping, it definitely one to to consider getting. Um, and yeah, I, I think that's pretty much all that I can say about this. Um, just remember, 10% off code, which should be popping up again now. Um, don't forget to use that if you do decide to pick up a kit. I think it only works with the kits, not the spare batteries. Um, I think it, you know if you are getting the spare batteries, you'll still be able to use the um, Vapor 15 code, which obviously gives you 5% off now because of the drop in the commission. 5% off your order, but if you are buying the kit, then definitely use the code that's just come up because that will get you 10% off your order. Um, so yeah, overall, for a new vapor, and I've said it a million times now, but for a new vapor or for someone who is looking to experiment a bit with sub-ohm but doesn't want to go out and buy like a whole new device, a whole new tank, new coils, new everything, um, definitely one that I would recommend. And again, another beautiful piece of Kit, another beautiful design from Jack Vapor. Their products are consistently beautiful and kind of outshine everything else on the market. So yeah, definitely, definitely one to recommend. So I hope that's been useful to you. Um, tried to keep this video a little bit shorter than usual. Still ended up waffling, but hopefully it's been useful to you. Um, and yeah, if you do pick it up, don't forget to use the code. And until next time, thank you for watching and happy vaping.